Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're going to make a gift box today. It's a birthday gift, gift box, but I wanted to let you know, if you haven't already watched it, we was on May May Made It Live at 12 today, so I will put that link below. You go over and check it out. We're talking about lots of different things, but mainly the classes in uh, Pigeon Forge in September, but go over there and check that out. Alright, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is 12 by 12. And you're going to score, you're going to need two pieces actually. This is going to be the top because it's going to be a birthday box. You're going to score at 2 inches on all four sides. And this is going to be quick and easy because first off I need a birthday box. For my granddaughter for next month and I don't have a lot of time today since I we did the, that live class and everything going on I don't have a whole lot of time so we're gonna do a quick one today and don't press too hard on your uh, pattern paper like I just did I think it went all the way through I will see when I start folding it I forgot to change the ends on my tool here. You need to use the big ball for pattern paper and the small one for cardstock. And I was talking and didn't change it, so we shall see. Maybe it won't crack on me. I'm going to fold it real carefully. Now I know I scored it on the wrong side to fold, but I didn't want to score it on this side because it's got a little bit of like a glitter on this side. And didn't want to have to worry about that. Oh yeah, that's going to be alright. Alright, that's all the scoring that you're going to do. We're going to go ahead and fold and burnish. I cleaned up my craft table because you could actually see my craft table in behind me. <laughs> and it was a hot mess where I had been working on some things. So I had to clean that up. So that everybody couldn't see it and I had a few comments about how neat my craft area was. Ooh, you just didn't see my floor. Alright, when you start cutting, you're going to cut on the inside of the score line. And then just cut that score line out so you're going to wedge it a little bit. Right, then turn it around, do the same thing on all four sides. Right, so there is the bottom of our box. So we're going to put that together just like that on those corners, like we have done so many times before. I had a comment on our 20,000 subscriber giveaway when I asked some projects that you would like to see. And I had a few people that commented that they'd like to see more 3D projects. So we will try to start showing more of those. Some days we have time for 3D and other days we don't. 3D projects usually take just a little bit longer than the regular projects, but not too much longer. It's just more prep time for me. Okay, there's the bottom. So you can see we've got a good size box. I think it's 8x8. Eight now on the top, I should have told you to move out just a little bit away from the edge of your scoreboard and score, but usually mine fits, even if I don't. And I'll show you how that I make that work. On the bottom, I cut 
on the inside of the score line. On this one, I'm going to cut on the outside of the score line. I'm calling this the inside and this the outside. So I'm going to cut on the outside. And then we're going to wedge it as well. That leaves just a little bit all the way around and it should fit your lid should fit perfect hopefully normally mine does we'll see this time this is not so easy for me to see so yep you got to see me live not just my hands couldn't get my computer to work early so I was thinking it wasn't gonna happen but at the last minute when we was about to give up it started working so all right then put your adhesive on all of these if you need a quick gift box and you don't want to run to town like I don't, then this is an easy fix right here. So then again, you're just going to match up, ugh, match up the score line with the corner. And I can't see my corner, so I'm having problems here. There we go. Yeah, it did split a little bit right there. I may make another top for this one, but for right now, I'm just going to go with it. We're going to see, see if this works. Yep, it worked. See there, it went on just fine. No problems at all. Now, I didn't burnish these lines. I will go back and burnish them just a little bit. The reason I didn't is because of the way I scored. But I think it's fine anyway. Now what we're going to do is put some ribbon on here. And I've just got two. I've got some yellow and red of this sheer ribbon. And of course you can use whatever type of ribbon you want. Or twine or whatever. I'm just going to use some of this. Well, say I am. I'm going to cut it first. Okay, I'm going to make sure that on the back side, yep, it's twisted. It's not, I want to make sure it's not twisted, but it was twisted. There we go. And then I'm going to tie these together. So there's our little wonky bow. You know I am not great at bows. But we're going to go with that. It's not going to hurt anything at all. And now I have a, two pieces of cardstock. This one is cut at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this one is cut at three by three. And we're just going to use my Old Faithful stamp set. I don't have any more of these in the store, but I will link the stamp set below so that you can go over and pick one up. Uh, let's go ahead and stamp this. There we go. And then we're going to mat this on that. And I'm going to use some foam dots to put this up on. There we go, and then we're going to put that right there, and I'm just going to use some ATG tape. And 
And then, of course, we've got to put bling. So, let's see what bling we want. She loves sunglasses, so we're going to put a little pair of sunglasses right there. And she's like me. She loves flowers and butterflies. So we'll put that flower right there. And let's see. Let's use some green. Let's we'll use some of these tags. Oh, where is my pickup tool? And then I'm gonna just gonna put. I think I'll just put a heart right down here in this corner. She will be 14 this year. Can't believe she's growing up so fast. I'm probably gonna redo that bow because it looks like it's upside down. I want these things to fall this way instead of up that way. So I will probably just redo it. So it'll turn it around. Let's see. I might can turn it around this way. Let's see if I can. Well, look at that. I did turn it around. So there we go. There is our little gift box for our granddaughter for her birthday. We're going to put her some goodies in here. Some money and some different things that she's been wanting. Some makeup and that kind of thing. Alright guys, that is the quick and easy tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget about our 20,000 subscriber giveaway. That I will put that link below for that video and what you need to do to enter that. And then don't forget to go over and watch our live with May May and I will put that link below as well. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.